So we're at the point where we've worked a couple of our blocks. And I've got, uh, I think, like five or six blocks made now. And I need to start working the edging around my squares. So this is the double crochet block right here. Um, now you can see on this one that the end of my seven inches has ended on a wrong side. So that's the wrong side. Here's my, my tail. Remember when we start our crochet, your tail's always at that bottom left. So I finished that up and it's now on my wrong side. So in the book, it says it wants us to begin our edging with the round one with the right side facing, okay? So now on this block, this is my, my treble crochet. Um, you can see this one here has ended on the correct side. So this is, here's my little starting tail. So I know that this is the right side. This is the wrong side. And I came to the end of my row after working that row. So I know that I hit my seven inches um, with this ending on the right side versus that other block where it ended on the wrong side. So because they're ending on different sides, we're going to have to kind of modify these instructions a little bit on the edging. So on the edging, what we're actually going to do, and I've kind of graphed out the block here. So if this is our square block, we're just going to actually make 25 stitches across each way and then in each corner we put an additional three stitches to get around the corner so it keeps our project flat. So again you would just turn it, 25 stitches, three more stitches in that same corner, turn it, 25 stitches across, three more stitches in the same corner, turn it, 25 stitches across, three more stitches in that same last corner stitch, then 25 stitches across, and you're, we're going to uh, join over here at the very first stitch that we made with the slip stitch, and that will be the end of round one. So that's how that's going to work. I am going to do some separate videos because these are ending differently. You know, again, again, this one ended correctly with it being on the right side, but this one ended um, on the wrong side. So, yeah, my tails, see how my tail's down there? <laughs> and um, it ended on the wrong side. So I'm going to have to flip my project to get it to, you know, to the right. So now I'm on the right side, but now my directions in the book are reading just a little bit differently from what I actually need to do. Okay, so I'm going to just work every one of these side row edges on camera. And next video that I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you how to pick up on the side edges. Um, Everybody kind of, you know, understands how to pick up on the top and bottom because you see we've got those real pretty chain stitches to, to pick up our stitches evenly. We need to pick up 25 stitches and we have exactly 25 chain stitches on the, the top and the bottom have those real pretty chain stitches. But on the edges here, uh, because you're working in pattern, you have this real wonky looking edge and you're like, well, where on earth do I even pick up my stitches? How do, how do I insert my hook? Where do I put my hook? So um, I am going to do a separate video next and show you exactly where you put those stitches at. 
Okay. All right. So I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you.